Hi guys, welcome back to Benmore CrossFit at home. Uh, we've got a great workout today, something that's a bit longer. Uh, and the good thing about this workout is there are no limited equipment versions, there's no full equipment versions, it's just the same workout. All you would need is a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or a, a heavy odd object that you can use in its place. So, let's talk through it. So, for time, this is a chipper, uh, you will do 10 single dumbbell hang clean and jerk. Don't worry, we'll demo those. And Sarah's going to be our demo guard today, so Sarah will demo those. So, you will do 10 of these. Then you will do 50 lateral jump squats. Then you'll come back and you'll do 20 single dumbbell hang clean and jerks. And then again you will do 50 lateral jump squats. And then 30 clean and jerks, 50 squats, 40 clean and jerks, 50 squats, 50 clean and jerks, and then 50 squats. Okay? So it's always clean and jerk, followed by lateral jumping squats. The clean and jerks go up in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the lateral jumping squats are always 50. Okay, so in terms of our warm up, as usual, just five minutes cardio to get yourself warmed up. Uh, now's a good time to practice double unders if you're still practicing double unders. Uh, go for a run, uh, do some rowing. If you have a bike, it's better for five minutes on the bike. Whatever it is, five minutes, get your heart rate up, get your body temperature up. And then we're going to go into uh, three rounds of 10 jumping squats, five strict press per side, and five pass through. And Sarah's going to demo these. So I'm going to magically mm -hmm. take the camera mm -hmm. and allow Sarah to show us what's what. So first of all, we're going to start off with jumping squats. So Sarah sets up in her normal squat position, feet approximately hip width apart, weight on her heels, chest is up. Tummy is fat, <laughs> and Sarah goes to sit down as if she's sitting on the toilet. Keep your chest up, and stand, and just stand, just stand, just to demo the squat. Uh, just do an air squat again. Yep, and then the jumping version of that. And break, very good, good work. Um, and then five, so 10, 10 jumping squats followed by five strict press per side. So take a weight, pop it onto your shoulder. Notice where Sarah's elbow is pointed, it's pointing straight. Her tummy's really tight, um, bum's really tight, thigh's really tight, and she presses the weight directly over her head. Nice work. And again, yeah, really good. She doesn't allow her tummy to flare, her chest to flare, and everything stays just directly in line with each other. That's fine. Good work, darling. And so five per side, so five in your left, five in your right. And then five pass through. So start off with your legs um, completely straight. Legs, probably feet are probably about uh, just outside shoulder width apart. Legs completely straight. Bend at the middle and come onto the floor. Keep your legs straight and go into plank. There we are, and then Sarah goes into her downward dog position, sticks her palm up in the air, and creates a really straight line between her hips and her wrists. Okay, and then she'll take a quick look to the left, and a quick look to the right, and then keeping her legs straight, she'll stand up. Alrighty, good work. So, 10 jumping air squats. 10 jumping air squats, 5 strict press per side, 5 pass through, 3 times round. Okay, next piece is um, 10 hip pops followed by 20 dead bugs. So Sarah's just going to show us what a hip pop looks like. So she lies down on the ground, brings her knees up onto her chest, and she explodes into that position. That's exactly it. And what she's looking to do is she's looking to have her hips fully opened. At the same time, her feet touch the ground. So Sarah, just bridge up for, like do that reverse bridge. Like, yeah. So that position, you wanna have your hips fully open in that position before you allow your feet to touch the ground. So go through that motion again. Yeah, and 
really get your heels flat on the floor. There we go. And again, there we go. Great. So, uh, 10 hip hops, followed by 20 dead bug. And dead bugs start off with, um, you notice how Sarah's thighs are horizontal. Sorry, her thighs are vertical and her shins are uh, horizontal. And uh, she alternates. There we go. Nice. And 20 of those. And um, Sarah, can you just bring your um, thighs past vertical? So that's not right. <laughs> okay, that's good. Bring them, bring them back again, darling. That's good. Bring them back again. That's not good. Okay, so make sure that your thighs never go past that point of being um, vertical. Good work. So, 10 hip hops followed by 20 dead bugs, two times right. And then we've got our pretty normal, regular um, pipe routine. Start off with pipe completely straight, completely um, vertical. Sarah has got her right hand above her left. That's important for showing in a minute. Completely straight, flat back, and she's actively pushing the pipe away from her. Okay, because she's got her right hand on top, she's going to push the pipe over to her left and hold it there for 30 seconds. Again, maintaining that really flat back. Notice her legs are also straight. Okay, and she's going to hold that for 30 seconds and then come up. Next part of this movement, she starts with the pipe uh, just at her crease. Yep, just at her crease and her hand width. Sarah, let's just talk through hand width because I haven't got, done that for a while. So if Sarah starts with her hands really close together, you notice that the pipe is too low because it's not at her crease. If Sarah puts her hands really exceptionally wide, it's too high because look, it comes up beyond her crease. So she just puts the bar on her crease, that's it, finds her crease and puts her arms sufficiently wide that it stays in that position. Um, elbows, are, elbows are locked, full grip on the bar. Full grip means that uh, your hands are like this. Yeah. Okay, she takes the pipe and she puts it over her head and she keeps going all the way around and back again. Nice. Arms completely straight and she doesn't allow her chest to flare too much, which is good. And her body isn't moving. Some people sway from left to right. Okay, and she'll do 10 of those. Okay, next variation of this is she's going to go around the world. Yep, so you can see what Sarah is doing there. And effectively, what she's doing is she's just taking one hand, passing around the front of her face, and bringing around the back of her head, and then doing the opposite with the other. So she'll do 10 one way, and then she'll do 10 the other. So we'll do 10 clockwise, then 10 anti-clockwise. And then once she's done that, she'll just do the backwards and forwards again 10 times more. So 10 of those. Again, elbows are, elbows are really tight. Not tight, locked. Uh, and hands will grip the bar. Next one, she's going to finish off exactly the same where we started, um, but this time she's got the opposite hand on the top. In this case, it's Sarah's left hand, and she's going to push over to the right to get a good stretch down that left hand side of her body. Okay, great work. So, the full warm up. There it is 10 jumping squats, 5 strict press per side, 5 pass three, 3 times round. 10 hip hops, followed by 20 dead bugs, two times round, and then a shoulder pipe warm up. Okay, now, jumping squats. These are fun. <laughs> <laughs> I might call over now. Okay, so uh, in terms of a jumping squat, uh, Sarah's just going to demo what that looks like. On the spot or the lateral one? Uh, the la sorry, the, la the lateral jumping squat. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So from a squat, there we go. And you might just notice. Good work, that's fine, break. You might just notice that um, our mats are our mats are one meter wide. 
and to give you an indication of how far should you be jumping, um, take half your height. So I am six foot two, so I'm one point, I don't know, eight something. Um, so this is say two meters for the sake of ease. So one of these mats is half my height. And I was uh, jumping from one line to the other. So I was starting with my feet here and I was jumping to here. Okay, so I was jumping half of my height uh, and Sarah was obviously jumping a little bit less because she's smaller. But effectively, um, you start off in your squat position, you go into a jumping air squat and you jump over to the side and you jump back again. And the key points to note are that both feet should be taking coming off the ground and both feet should be landing at approximately, ideally at exactly the same time. Um, there we go. And you'll notice as well that Sarah is opening up her hips, so she's jumping up, she's straightening up, yeah, as opposed to staying in the, um, Sarah shows, uh, it's kind of uh, staying in a half squat, not opening your hips. <laughs> what I was doing for half the work, yeah. No. <laughs> so you see in this, Sarah isn't actually opening up, she's not standing up tall, um, so she's not opening up her hips, whereas she is now. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Woo! good work. So, we're going to practice a few, uh, two sets of um, two sets of ten jumping squats. Um, mark out your space on the floor in terms of your distance, and um, so you've got something to shoot for. Okay, clean and jerk. You will need some form of weight for this. Now, this could be a kettlebell, as Sarah has. Uh, it could be a dumbbell like I was using, um, we'll talk about RX widths in a moment, or it could just be uh, an odd object, a small stuffed rucksack, whatever it, is, whatever, it is, whatever it is that you've got. Okay, let's talk about the first part of this. It's a hang. What's a, so it's a hang, clean and jerk. Hang means it starts from that position, okay? So it doesn't start from the floor, it starts from there. A, the clean part, Sarah's just going to demo a clean is you clean it up under your shoulder. Okay, the important points to note here are, Sarah, let's demo this without any weight. Just pop the weight down. So Sarah's gonna shrug up. She's then gonna lead with her elbow. And in the kids' class, we call this a super zipper. Yep, so she's imagine she's, she's zipping up her coat from the bottom all the way up, and then she flicks her elbows round as if she's shooting, and again, in the kids' class, we talk about, you know, have you got Glitter guns, or you've got laser guns or something, and trying to shoot somebody. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. So the full motion starts just where uh, at Sarah's knees. She pops her hip, she extends, she leads, she shrugs, she leads with her elbows, and then she flicks her elbow around. And the weight will then land on her shoulder. All good. And then, so that's the clean part. And then the jerk part, she have a slight dip. She'll explode out of the dip, and then as she explodes out of the dip, she will shoot her arm up and dip in underneath the weight. All of which, when put together, looks like... Go on, Sarah. In the beginning. Uh, put, do it with a bit of weight. Do it with the weight this time. Nice. And again. Yeah, good work. Now, um, You'll notice that when Sarah is uh, jerking it, um, do it without the weight down, don't worry about it. Okay, she dips, she drives, and then she double, she dips again, so she double dips, yeah? So as the weight shoots up, she drops down in underneath it. So it's quite different to our um, push press where we Sarah, can you demo a push press? Yeah, there we go. So you'll notice that Sarah, when she push presses, she dips and then she explodes and she stays uh, in that totally extended position the whole way through the, the rest of the movement. Whereas in the jerk, she dips, she drops back down under the weight once the weight has got up as high as it can so she can get in underneath it and then she stands up tall. Okay. So the jerk, um, Component, the clean and jerk component um, in terms of your warm up. 
for your clean and jerk drills. Um, two sets of 10 cleans, followed by two sets of just jerks, followed by one set of clean and jerk. And again, Sarah, if you wouldn't mind just demoing the clean and jerk. Nice, good work. Now, Sarah's doing these all with a single arm, the same arm, sorry, single arm, of course, she's, uh, but she's doing them all with one arm. Um, in the workout, if you want to alternate between arms, that's fine. If you want to do five in one and then five in the other, that's fine. If you want to just power on through and do them all with one arm, well then, you know, good luck to you. <laughs> but, but ultimately, when it comes to your um, dumbbell hang, clean and jerk, uh, I mean, the, the most efficient way to do it is, of course, to alternate. Um, but you might want to do sets of twos or something like that. Do you want Big up my demo girl. Thanks. <laughs> okay. to do any of the scale? Um, well, let's just think about, let's think about RX. Okay, so the RX is, for the jumping squat, the distance that you're jumping is half of your height. The weight for the clean and jerk is 22 and a half kgs for the guys and 15 kgs for the girls. Now, uh, let's, let's think about, um, let's think about, is this doable for you? How do you know if, you know, should you even be shooting for that? Well, in your final warm up for your clean and jerk, um, question, can you do, 10 clean and jerk unbroken with your weight and if you can great if you find you know what I can do 20 and you've got more options in terms of heavier weights go heavier like this is all academic if you've only got one weight that's it and that's all you can do that's fine um, but if you have options you should be able to, to pick a weight that means you're, you can do 10 clean and jerk unbroken if you can do 30 clean and jerk unbroken, it's probably a little bit too light. As I say, if you've only got one weight, then that's, there's nothing you can do about that, and that's fine. But just to try and give you a gauge, um, that's kind of the, 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 uh, the, the rep range that you should be going for. Okay. If you can't do 10 clean and jerk unbroken at your weight, and you have the option, come, come, come down, make it a little bit lighter. In terms of your scaling options, um, the first, of course, is to, uh, the clean and jerk. It's just to make it lighter. That's it. Because my assumption is most people can do that. That's no weight, but it's going through the whole movement. And it's just a case of adding on weight. So um, you can start with a water bottle. Great. If that's your weight, that's your weight. A bag of sugar. Um, 2 kg kettlebell or dumbbell, 5 kg, whatever it is that you've got, okay? And just kind of work your way up. So the easiest way to scale clean and jerk, simply less weight. Let's think about scaling the lateral jumping squats because there are a few things going on here. First of all, we're jumping, uh, and if you've got any problems with your knees or your hips, okay, um, and because we're going laterally, uh, there's quite a bit of pressure landing, uh, particularly through your knee joints. So if that's something that you think, no, not, don't want to go for that, um, scale the lateral jumping squats back down to just jumping air squats, so straight up and down. And again, if that's something that's um, beyond you, then simple air squats. Uh, if that's something that's beyond you, well, you know what? <clears throat> That's a great alternative. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone has a chair in their house. I'm pretty confident <laughs> everyone has a seat. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is, this is the, the reason we've programmed this workout is I would like to think that this is totally accessible by everybody and for everybody. It's simply a case of making sure you pick the right scaling option. 
let's think about two ends of the spectrum. Somebody who's been cross, let's imagine you're, you're a 25 year old who's been cross fitting for the last 10 years, you know, absolute beast. 22 and a half kgs is absolutely within your wheelhouse and you want to fly and attack this one. How long should this one take you? 15 minutes tops. Um, let's imagine you're at the other end of the scale. You have an exercise for 20 years. Um, you find that you get out of breath when you walk up the stairs. How do you attack this one? Well, you attack this one by doing, first of all, thinking about your weight thinking about your movement, so your clean and jerk might simply be that half bag of sugar. Your air squats might simply be standing out of a chair without using your hands, great. Um, if the prospect of the reps was just far too many, I want you to take each of these numbers and divide it by two. Okay, so that would be, you would do five here, you would do 25 here, you would do 10 here, 25, 50, you just do half. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're at that stage where you're just coming back to fitness, then absolutely put a time cap of 20 minutes on this. So wherever it is you get to after 20 minutes, that's your, that's your workout and you're done. Okay, and your challenge is to see how far you get through. Fine. For everybody else, <clears throat> so we're talking about two ends of the spectrum, for everybody else, what should you be shooting for? Probably somewhere in, in the 20 to 25 minute range-ish, there thereabouts. And that will give you a good indication that you got the, the weight right through your clean and jerk. Um, that's, that's, that'd be a pretty good time for this. It took me 27 minutes. 27 minutes, 20 something, something seconds. And that's because the 22 and a half kgs for the clean and jerk is like, for that number of reps for me is just starting to push the limit of, um, of what's possible. So um, I think 25 minutes is probably a good time for, for most people. Okay, demo girl. Other than being an awesome demo person, uh, anything else from behind the scenes? Um, I gotta put you on the spot. Oh God. So it took me just, just under 27 yeah, minutes. Yeah, Sarah smoked me. I did slightly lighter, so I did 12 rather than 15 kilos, and I used the kettlebell. So I focused more on keeping to my five reps and doing mm. them as well as I can. Yeah. Um, it was the squats that really killed me. <laughs> and I realised quickly the importance of keeping my weight back in my heels as much as I could, mm -hmm. because leaning forward was really getting my thighs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So just remember this point of performance. We talked about at the start in terms of your air squat, chest up, um, but you know, <laughs> break from your bum first, keep your chest up. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a good workout. Yeah. Certainly know I've done it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're done. We'll um, see you for the next one. Bye. Bye.